Hello everyone, and welcome to another Valheim video. Today, we'll be starting the Half Armor Challenge. So, in this challenge, I may have stated this already, but we'll be only, we're only going to be able to wear pants and a cape. So, I think it's pretty good to set up for our character. We'll be. Since we can't wear a helmet, we really gotta think about our hair. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll put our hair as like black, I guess. Blonde is zero. <clears throat> we will name ourselves. Timmy. Done. We will create a new world. Timmy. Land. And we will start. This series is just going to be a single player series. And um, I think it'll be. Like, so here's some ground rules, I guess. So we, can, we can't wear a tunic. Or a helmet. I don't know why, but it's just cool. We also can't use a knife. A knife is like a really helpful weapon. And oh, yeah, I also can't use the spear or at ear. Those are some like weapons that start in the Bronze Age. So I can't use the spear, the ack gear, or the knife. I also don't think I should be allowed to enter the uh, undeveloped biome. So if I see a biome that's actually undeveloped, I will have to turn around. As in the Mistlands or the Ashlands. The Deep North is technically not developed yet, but the thing about that being undeveloped is when you go there, there's parts of it that's just mountain. So technically, uh, we're okay to go there, but we're not gonna get there anyways. Perfect timing. We are now with the bird here, float name. He's gonna drop us in onto our island. Hopefully we spawn by the coast. Cause if we do, we're going to the water and we're throwing this tunic in the ocean as we can't wear shirts in this series. I just think that's pretty sensible. We just drop in here. And I'm home. Okay, we did spawn near the coast. And uh, so let's see. Hugin. Welcome to the Tenth World Warrior. I'm Hugin. Send here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. Represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Interesting. Okay, you're back again. The stone is Vagvisir. Magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin. A signpost pointing toward the ritual grounds to Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Eichthir. Your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. So basically, but you can't get a cape until you go to the Black Forest. Hugin's gonna be, Ikeser's gonna be a little bit of a hard target to fight, since you can't really fight him. So we're just gonna have pants to fight him. Okay, no, I can't go up there. 
you get you have to spawn in the worst place every time. So what's up here? Okay, well met. You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Blah blah blah. Be aware that long that before long you will grow hungry again. So try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Okay. And before we do anything crazy, let's grab a couple more pieces of wood. Take blah, blah, blah. Same thing from before. Take stock of your inventory. It's back again. I gotta take off a shirt. I can't fight you with the shirt on. Take that, Grayling. Let's see what else. You have crafted a hammer. With this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct other things. Blah, 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 Hugin. Fight me. It's not gonna win. It's just a little tiny bird that dies by punching. Food is going to be important here in the beginning. Because, you know, it's kind of hard to get lots of food when you're not that strong. You just kind of got a couple little sticks and stones. And lots of mushrooms. to fight a grayling again die okay tell what killed him me or the fire there we go some raspberries okay I heard a piggy somewhere. Thank God. Piggy. Boar. Basically, my first hit with a club and I already killed a boar. And that one was very nice. That one was very generous. He uh, dropped us trophy. Okay, we got a little sidetracked again from putting the shirt in the water. Because there was a boar, which we're going to need, of course. I'm going to build a base as soon as possible in this uh, series because I think you might notice that we're definitely going to need a base of defenses since we're only going to have pants until the the Black Forest. Luckily, I'm not choosing this to be a hardcore series. That would be very cruel for myself. I think we're gonna get a cape early. If I find a bunch more of those, and then I got that leveled up. If I find a bunch of those, I can get a cape. Early. I gotta kill I gotta kill a bunch of boar first for a bow.
stupid neck. Get back here, you little lizard. very nice. Lots of flint right off the bat. And somehow bones. This area is going to be a lot less pressured. And nice, a neck trophy. Oh yeah, we're here at the water. Should do that. Wee. Goodbye, shark. I'll never have to make one of those in this world. Shirts are useless at this point. Why am I doing a half armor challenge? Don't know. It seemed interesting. some raspberries. So there's another boar over there. Wait, I'm hoping this one has bones too. Unfortunately, no bones. Oh, we... this game loves us. This is amazing. Never found something like this before. But I can tell it's gonna be great. We already found a pond. Like right here, a pond. It's a tiny little house right here. Just to start, this will help. Oh god. We nearly died. Lucky I looked at my health to go eat food. Oh no, if I die to you, it's gonna be a very sad moment. Like, just found a good base. Good starting area. Yes, here we go. Starting off with a nice flint axe. With a couple pieces of wood. If 
Funny, two of those boars we killed dropped trophies. Nice world. I mean, we hit the spawn jackpot. Nice, we got a deer already. And a deer trophy. Crazy. Here we go, some. I'll mark this raspberry patch here. Raspberries. Whew. I would make rag pants, but it's just to go like get the bow and then hunt deer. to get leather pants. We've got another boar here, so now we have like six leather strap and a grayling. We have lots of uh, raspberries and mushroom. For a little while, I should say. I mean, I did find that raspberry patch, so we should be safe. We should probably go back to their house now so I don't lose it. Deer's like so stupid. That grayling just helped me not die. Deserve some respect. That's why I'm not going to go look for him to hunt him. There's a good supply of neck here, that's why it's nice to be near the pond. Basically. We're not really near the egg to spawn, but we are near that black forest. Black forest isn't anything new though. We 
we have six leather scrap out of eight leather scrap. Oh no. You're not getting away, dear. Okay, good, good, good deer, good deer. And then into the water. Man, the deer are being good today. They keep running into the water. There's another gray one. And another gray one. Come on. How did he notice me? I was sneaking and I was quite far away. Oh, great. That's why it's bad to only have like two food in the start. Well, hopefully he drops two deer hide. Nope. One deer hide, just like I expected. You can turn off you again. If you know how, and well, if you play Valheim and you watch this video, and you know how to turn off you again, please put that in the comments. That'll help me a lot. He's probably here to talk about my hoe, isn't he? Yep. And again, I have a bed, and he's just like, Well, hello, I see you have made a bed. Would you like to, uh, hear some news about your bed, sir? But anyways, that's just the pains of Hugin. When you first start off, prepare all that stuff. I'm hoping to find two more boar. Can't wait to have lots of space in my inventory. So I'm not gonna have like four armor pieces. And like, I'm not gonna have multiple types of arrows. I don't really think that's needed. Okay, so I think there's another one. Yes, we are. Hopefully. Ooh, another hut. I think we're gonna move over there. No. What? That, that deer must be, like, broken. Okay, he dropped me one deer meat, like I needed. Cause that's all I needed. Well, skeleton? Yes. The skeleton. I'm so happy I'm not moving down there. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, some arrows. For, looks like we got our bow in a couple of seconds. Bye. <sighs> the deer better not be gone in the game. Why did the fog roll in so quickly? Didn't know fog could do that. Okay, I'm gonna break this stump in case there's bees inside of that house. realize what you can do is you can like take your axe or, no you can take your hammer build a workbench if there's bees like if you don't have a bow in the start there's bees okay there's bees just bees there's also a grayling that was running on top of the house but um we'll place this crafting table out there Okay, that should be gone, and we got a queen bee already. It's day two, and we've got a queen bee. That's the guy from the uh, mainland. Since honey is native in so many recipes, I want to find a bunch of bees. We already have bee meat. They like pretty much just spawn in. Basically, it's just day two. And we've already got like a queen bee. We've got enough stuff to summon like their Fladax. We've got the stuff for a bow, the stuff for other pants. But, um, yeah. It's kind of nice. Quickly. I'm gonna put our home on the map. It's like the only thing I'll use a home marker for. Right here where all the raspberries are. We'll put a little dot for like food. Berries. Done. I'm gonna be so angry if the bow needs deer hide. I feel like it does. Okay, now the bow. Good, just ten wood and eight leather. Make our pants.
and nice, we've got it. The pants. Pretty successful with that. Now we will place down our beehive. Pretty good there. We're gonna expand our house. Not by that much, but like by a little bit. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep a couple like pieces of roofs from my crafting table, so like it can be there to use. this and that ah yeah It's really making me waste as much materials as possible. We're gonna start. Okay, no, put that back. Start with our crafting table in the corner and our chopping block right there. And the station is too exposed. What about now? Great, now I'm gonna go get a couple more pieces of wood. Good, now we can eat some more food. A little misclick there, turning off my arrows. So we're doing pretty good. It's gonna be nighttime soon, I could tell. I don't really need that, I got 10 resin. 23 wood should be like great enough now. Just grab a couple more wood on the way. I got 32 wood. Good, now I can use that. Oh yeah, that's the wrong roof piece. Actually, we'll put that there, yeah.
house is kind of starting to come together. Okay, another workbench. Grayling there, because I know he's going to come and touch our stuff, like Graylings do. If you play Valheim, you definitely hate Graylings, I'm sure. Even though they give you early game resin. Why are the bushes stronger than the trees? Not, oh, it's not going to be night time yet. Now that the fog is gone, we can actually see. This is the house. It's just like a simple 3x3 three three starter house. Lunar Grayling. It's coming on. Doing his thing. Hold on, if I get a bow, I'll easily be able to snipe him now, right? Yeah, that, that wasn't that hard. Just, just snipe him too. The crude bow is like always the arrow goes down super fast. No, I'll just waste it now. You know what? That's okay. We'll just like sort of eventually. We won't even be using that type of arrow, so we can work it out. Very nice pond. Okay, so now we're gonna. Did I only get two wood? No, the three wood. So we're out and start killing deer. Must be gone crazy. I used three arrows on that one deer, but it's a deer and we need it, so it's kind of worth it. I just gotta get what we can for now. And using up some of our arrows by missing deer might just get us along. Hoping I can find that deer I just heard. Since I have our home marked on the map, 
easily go over here. I know getting the wet effect is like not very good, but it's really just enough to get us through. So, there's a deer over there that I'm going to shoot in a minute. Gotta quickly. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, number five. Now that's nice. Found 13 more arrows in that chest. Let's get a couple more pieces of wood ore over here. There. A painful enemy. Okay, 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 let me slant up to your neck. Oh, what? Did I never kill the deer? We'll save. Okay. So I never missed. I think, I think I missed once. But I'll get 24 meat and then we have 12 hide I'm just gonna cross the river and the night and Nicely walk. I had a deer. Just got attacked by me, Timmy. Greatest person in Valheim. Okay, now I'll just place that roof. Place that roof. That roof. And then we'll place this door and we will sleep. Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z We shall now quickly get four more wood. Then we will put our stuff away in a chest. And that will be the end of our episode. I also wanted to say thank you for 85 subscribers. Honestly, it's a personal achievement, and I've been hoping we'll reach this for a, li for a little bit of time. It's greatly appreciated, and I'm hoping you, the subscribers, actually enjoy my videos, and uh, you don't just 
subscribe to random people you see. But anyways, that will be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget, you can like and subscribe. It's your choice. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!